Look what came in today. It's the SDKFZ 251 Awesome D with that new minifig right there. The SDKFZ 251 is a World War II German half track that was designed to carry Panzer Grenadiers or German mechanized infantry. They were the most widely produced half track of the war with over 15,000 made. And that's all I got. Now my bear market is definitely increasing, right? When I started collecting Brick Mania a while back, a lot of you were like, why don't you start collecting German stuff? Well, here you go. SDKFZ 251 Ossif D Armored Half Track. That was really hard to memorize. Like it's like ABC. <laughs> and the one thing that's really special about this that I'm looking forward to is the captain. Side note, I got the BF-109 and the Spitfire in the city. This is how they used to film Star Wars videos. <laughs> So here's Brickman's SDKFZ 251 Awesome D Armored Half Track Carrier designed by Daniel Siskin. And here's a grayscale artwork, which I'm loving more and more every time I get a new box. Love the minimalism, guys. Keep it minimal. And the vehicle plate, description armored half track carrier, designer by Daniel Siskin. Set number 2283, skill level 3 out of 5. It contains 401 Lego brick arms and brick mania elements and one minifig. So let's open this up. This is number 69 out of this batch. And like always, winners aren't born, they're built. Thank you for supporting Brickmania, Daniel Siskin, Commander-in-Chief. Got the blueprint instructions, Lego elements, Lego track links, more elements. And here is the minifigure, which I am really looking forward to messing with. Oh, and other printed elements. All right, so let's get down to the grind. Ready, set, go. And I'm done. Pretty simple half track. So I ended up building a 251-1, which is just a standard half track. So I didn't build the 251-10, which would have been the command version. And it had a anti-tank gun on the top. I just wanted to put the MG42s on there. That's why I didn't want to build the command. I was missing a piece. As you can see, the white block right there. If you guys are ever missing a piece, just like Lego, give customer service at Brickmania a call and they'll send you another one. But I had a, a spare one and I don't really want to wait for another one to do this video. <laughs> Brickmania custom service is good to go. I did add two one by two plates right here just because it was a little unstable. I understand why they didn't do that for stability just because you can see it on the edge right there and then it just doesn't look attractive. But I already know my son's gonna wanna play with this and I don't wanna keep fixing it. I ended up doing that little quick little modification just so it's a little bit more stable. Aside from that, you got opening hatches in the back right here and these printed tiles to simulate cargo holds and then printed tiles in the front. Like they're like portholes. So that way they can see. Here's a minifig that it comes with. The one thing obviously that sticks out is the crusher cap that this minifig commander is currently wearing. It is a 3D printed hat, but Brickmania definitely captured how real life this hat would be on an actual Lego figure. There are other companies out there that have simulated this crusher cap and this one actually looks really good. So no longer gonna use the policeman cap, this one does it more justice. And the 44 dot camo that he is currently wearing has changed just a tad bit from the ones in the past. Lando mentioned that he color shifted the reddish brown to give it a little lighter look and tint so that way the other colors can stand out. But he is 360 printed. If you were to make him surrender like he did eventually, he is 360 printed all the way around as a pistol. Nice update to the 44 dot camo. And to make this already awesome figure, 10 times better, we give him a nice 3D printed crusher cap. And he goes in there. The new minifigure of the month for March is gonna be the Panzer Grenadier. That way we can buy a bunch and put them in the half track. Probably gonna buy three, two to put in there and one to put in the case. It'll go well with this half track. Here are the extra pieces for the anti-tank gun if I decided to go that way. So what do you guys think about the SDK FZ 251 Awesome D? Brickmania always does really good with the ambush camo schemes. This little olive drab, and it's a new one that I don't have. The only other camos that I have is the Tiger and the Spitfire that's up there. If you guys made it with me to the end of this video, please give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye right, guys, peace.